Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. Once a year in May, people from all around the nation come together for a shimmy mob that raises funds for the Nest Center for Women, Children, and Families. And joining us today to discuss the shimmy mob is Sophia Noir. Welcome to the show, Sophia. Hi, thank you for having me in. Well, thank you for being here. Okay, well, first of all, let's talk about what exactly is a shimmy mob and how does it differ from a flash mob? All right, a flash mob is usually like a big group that just like goes out and flashes the mob somewhere. Right. Shimmy mob. And she's not talking like clothing, <laughs> right? You're talking dance. No, but like they just they just go in somewhere and and they don't let anybody know that it's happening. Right. And uh, it's 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 it can be a disruption. Yeah. So shimmy mob's not really like that. One thing that's really different is that shimmy mob is actually worldwide. Yeah. The, the entire planet Earth is going to have 120 cities at this point, yeah. but possibly more by the time registration closes. Uh huh. And everybody all over the globe is going to be dancing the same choreography um, around the same time of day, so it's going to kind of roll across the planet. Right. I think it's awesome. It is. It's like it's almost like a wave at a game, at a yeah. football game, but it's yes. happening clear around the world. How it's, fantastic it's, it's is that? It's amazing. You said the start time is like 12 noon for all of the cities. Right. Is that right. Right. So you'll start seeing like you know China and, and other cities. They, they'll be doing their flash mob and yes. they'll post videos of it and pictures and everything on social media and then another country will do it and then another country and and so well, everybody that's involved in it sits there and watches and just <laughs> oh my gosh who's next that you is know? so fun yeah. I mean really that's really cool so okay who can sign up for this I mean do you have to be able to know how to dance how does this work you don't have to have any dance experience at all okay um, some dance Good. experience <laughs> it, it helps but you don't have to have it because yeah. the choreography is pretty simple Mm -hmm. And the great thing is, is that um, since I'm the team leader, I have my own dance studio here in town. Right. So I help to teach everybody that joins the Lexington team. Uh huh. So anybody can join, and it's men, women, and children. It doesn't have to be just girls. Okay. Guys and kids can do it too. It's, and it's for everyone. Yes, and everyone. It's for a good cause. So let's yes. talk about that. How did you pick? the charity that you're uh, raising the funds for for this event? Well, the charity that we picked is The Nest. Uh -huh. And The Nest has such a huge impact on thousands of families mm -hmm. in Lexington. It does help a lot of families with uh, uh, abuse problems, mm -hmm. and they have counseling, and they have classes, they have parenting classes, they have emergency child care, they have a, an emergency um, place that people can go pick up food and diapers and things like that if they need it. Right, so, right. so they have this huge outreach in our community. Mm -hmm. So it seemed to me that they were like the most obvious to, yeah. to reach out and, and help them in some way. Because for a, a charity like that, every single penny that they get yeah. counts. Aww. Every and single penny. That's awesome. And also with these, I mean, this is a charity local, but it's also around the world. They're all looking at... Every single city picks their own place to to do some sort of fundraiser for. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. I love it. Okay, so how do people, how do you belly dance? I mean, I have never belly danced in my entire life. I know you wrap the scarf around me and are pretending like I'm going to be able to do this, but I don't know. I've never done this before. Are you so. ready for a lesson right now? Or are, <laughs> we, are we finishing up or do you want to? Okay, so so belly dancing, it's, it's something that anybody can do. Okay, every I'm age. take your word on that. Every age, <laughs> um, you know, every body type doesn't matter because it's a natural thing. Right. Very, very natural thing. Okay. Okay. And I've been teaching it for a long time. So, I mean, right. so real simple, like if you put your foot forward. Okay. Got and it. And you can just twist the hip. Twist the hip and, and then, back. Right. Okay. And faster. This? Faster. Really? <laughs> All right. There you go. There it is. <laughs> See? And open the arms. Remember, I said Oh, gosh. Arms. Yeah. I like to do that. I like to do the little, you know. But, right? Okay. So that's belly dancing. That's I mean, belly that's, dancing. That's, that's, that's one simple move, but you know, it's it's a lot of different simple moves put together. Oh, Sophia, thank you so much for showing me how to do that, and Absolutely. thank you for being here. Good luck with raising funds for everything, and we will be right back right after this short break. Keep it right here. You're watching Midday Kentucky. Thank you. Ready?